seconds. 20? <laughs> How are we doing tonight? This is the script. Uh, yeah. We got, we got the, the scene one. Okay. It's um, just the standard good evening. Okay, yeah, good evening. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, uh, where should to do our new... Uh, right, and yeah. then go to this. Introduce some Taunton's ones. Introduce... Oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, okay, now I get this. Yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. we go that there, yeah. and then... Right, okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Have a look in. Yeah. Cool, yeah, good. Righty. Oof. Many people out there tonight? Yeah, big crowd tonight. Big crowd, big crowd. Ooh, exciting, exciting. Right, loosen up. Oh, here we go, here we go. Record breaking, record breaking. <sighs> <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Expo 360. My name is Ben, and I'll be taking you through the exhibition for the rest of tonight. So over the course of this evening, we will have lots of different productions from both Bridgewater and Taunton students, and we'll have a look what they've been doing over the last four weeks. First up, over at Taunton, we have some portraits that they have done, and here they are. Thank you, Taunton, for those lovely portraits. Now we're going into an in-depth interview that they had to discuss about their portraits and how they did them. For our first week, we did portraits. How did you come up with your idea? My idea, I had a shoot with a music artist, so I decided it'd be a great opportunity to do a shoot to include it in this project, so that's what I did. What equipment did you use? I used a wide range of equipment, including cameras, tripods, different kind of lighting, and a backdrop. What different techniques did you try? I used a variation of techniques such as long shot, medium long shot, close shot, and then I used low angles and high angles. And um, what would you do differently next time? Um, I'd uh, do some more shots from different angles and maybe adjust the lighting a bit. Thank you, Taunton. That was some brilliant work we saw there. Some amazing photos and some amazing portraits. Now we'll head over to Bridgewater and have a look at their portrait package.
Wow, that was some amazing work from Bridgewater. Once more, some wonderful portraits there and some insights on how amazing some of these students can do. Now we'll head over to Bridgewater's podcast package and have a look into what they have been doing over the last week. Um, so yeah. me, uh, me, I'm Ben, um, and to my left is uh, Alan. Say hi. Hi, I'm Alan. Then we've got Toby. Hi. We got Jamie. I forgot my Roblox card password. That's my line. <laughs> yeah, I know. I nicked it. And then we got finally got Ryan. Hey, uh, how you doing? Perfect. Hey. Uh, also uh, behind me with the uh, with the camera, uh, we've got Simeon, and in the edit seat we've got um, Jelly. 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 Welcome to Disney Nerds, and I'm I'm your host Hunter, and to share and here today I'm with Matt, Megan, Brett, and Nathaniel. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our short podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about films, ones we don't like and ones we do like. My name's Will. I'm joined by Kyle. How are you Hiya. doing, Kyle? I'm good, yeah. And I'm joined by Isaac as well. Hello. Oh, guess what? Oh, my life is go. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so right, me, and my mate, me and my mate went to Mackey's, right? Oh, Mackey's. Uh, Mackey's <laughs> and Taunton, as you do. Your vibe, right? As you do. That's crap. Um, and he bought a chicken m- McBurger, or whatever it's called. McChicken. That's what it's called. <laughs> the full yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then his, his friend that is a lady turned up with her mm-hmm. friend. Oh. And we were vibing, you know, as you do. For Sat some. and Mackey's. Yeah, you know, he decides to put this chicken burger thing on my car aerial oh dear. and drive down the road. And also, there was a Sainsbury's trolley, right? And if you haven't been to Mackey's in Taunton, there's literally a Mackey's, then there's a Sainsbury's right next to it, pretty much, like two-minute walk, right, as you do. So he managed to fit, she had a Honda Jazz, so he managed to fit a Sainsbury's trolley in the back of a Honda Jazz and just took it for a skirt. <laughs> yeah, it was good. And then my McChicken fell off and spat on a windscreen. Today, we're going to be discussing Disney films. And we'll start off with the, probably one of the few Disney haters in the room. We'll start with Nat. I, okay, I don't fully hate Disney. I personally prefer Pixar films to Disney films because, well, Pixar is just... I think it's cooler, personally. I'm not here for the romanticised fairy tales of the old age. Is there I no wanna... way to change your mind and but think Disney's amazing? I was... No! I was... A film that I am a massive fan of is um, Seven. It's a the dark, g- gruesome crime thriller um, about a serial killer um, who kills in line with the deadly sins. It's definitely one that I'd yeah, recommend. I but every, but not it's every Disney film, around. though, is about I mean, princesses. Frozen, on the other hand, is something you know you will go back to. It's a great film. I don't watch it for the princesses. I watch it for the song. I, I, I watch it for Kristoff, actually. <laughs> oh, yes, Kristoff. <laughs> oh, I agree. Um, the Meg, I particularly quite like. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that's quite a good film to be honest I've heard of it yeah. never, seen never it. watched it it's oh. the big shirt. yeah I know yeah, <laughs> it's good though it's good. obviously not better it's not better than Jaws because that's obviously yeah, Jaws is, Jaws is always going to be a classic it's always going to be a good film yeah. but no the Meg I do enjoy especially the actors as well they're pretty yeah. good Hunt a big shark. No, they hunt, yeah, they hunt, hunt a big shark uh, hunt a big shark yeah but they go under like the depth of the war as far as they can go oh. Um, but the start of the film obviously is a tale about like how a something got hit by the Meg and then obviously like a flashback yeah why Disney's better than Pixar and plus Disney do have amazing songs probably Circle of Life so just saying yes. never watch Lion King high five do you not watch oh my Lion King are we going to have please? an argument about Lion King wait to be king and his dad dies he's like oh it's dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> 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 are, you, are, you, are you saying you were driving someone else's car? And not no, I was driving my car. She was behind me in the Honda Jazz. Mate. There was a very large person in the front Oh, seat. thanks. <laughs> Merrick, like, if I had to choose a film, I'd probably choose Jumanji. Yeah, Jumanji. It, that's a good especially, film. Especially like, the new first one. Not, not the old ones, but... The original is yeah. good, yeah, but I, the, yeah, yeah, I, I, I preferred I prefer the new one because yeah, the, yeah. the new one's just so fun. Oh, it's just the, the actors. They fit the characters like... Yeah. So well, yeah. Jack Black is funny. He's funny. Yeah, it's, oh, it's great. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the second one, it's oh, a see. bit. Oh, it's a bit worse, but yeah. I still like really it, enjoy it's it. It's okay. It's like the front seat. Mm. Yeah, you have a the smallest seat in the front seat. He went in the front. He's like fucking four foot two. Over there. <laughs> fucking I'm fucking skinny, skinny anorexic boy. Yeah, and now he's got the front seat. Oh, How's shit. anorexia? Oh, yeah, so it's pretty good. I can eat anything I want and I just don't get fat. Yeah, I really like Super Bad. It's just a I classic comedy. Never watched that. A classic comedy. 
the characters. What, one of the worst films I've ever seen. <laughs> no. It, it's, you know what, Matthew? I'm so sorry that you're hearing this argue about everything about Disney and Pixar. What's your favourite? Well, personally, I'm more towards Pixar <laughs> right now. It's only one for a lot of fantasy, which is what Disney often go for. And whereas Pixar is a bit more like acting and, 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 and so. Uh, so, like, they've done Toy Story, The Incredibles, Up, uh, and one or two other things. Some more, like, adventurous films. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'm not saying there's necessarily anything wrong with this Disney itself. It's just that... It's just... This picture is just my preference. Don't do exercise, <laughs> though. Um, oh, imagine well, doing exercise. I do exercise. It's called walking to Mackey's. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we all know you don't walk. You got a car. Get, just get overwhelmed by everything. Really. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I think that brings our our short podcast to the end. Thanks yeah. for listening to our thank little you. quick fire <laughs> reviews. Yeah. And yeah, thank you very much. So I think that's all we have time for for today. Join us next week when we discuss how terrible the Matrix film is. I'm Brett, and I'm off. Goodbye. I'm Nathaniel. I'm off. This is Matt. Goodbye. And I'm Hunter. See you next time. <laughs> and I don't even throw back again or not. This is like button <laughs> in the face, lack of bars. This has and been all around. around. Again, some quality stuff there. To talk more in detail about their own pod- podcast, Idiots with Mike is Nathaniel, Hunter, and Brett. Um, and we'll hand over to them now. Welcome to Disney Nerds, and I'm I'm your host Hunter, and to share and here today I'm with Matt, Megan, Brett. And Nathaniel. And today we're going to be discussing Disney films. But, but aren't you aware that the Mandalorian Star Wars series is done by Disney? Yes, Many of the new Star Wars films are done by Disney. Yeah, yeah, is there no way to actually change your mind? Because not. Because watch not. The, the actual D- the Disney movies. I'm not or... going to sit there and watch Snow White as she does. But not. But not seven every. But not every Disney film around. though is about I mean, princesses. Yeah, it's for, not. For example, you've got many other films like. Tangled, oh, Frozen, that. which you do love. But at the same yeah, that, time, if there's you... still princesses in the end. The more still, yes, there's still princesses in the end. But I only, I mean, I watched Tangled once years ago. That film was released in 2010. That was 11 years ago. I was six. I don't know what I was properly watching. <laughs> right. We, of, from what your arguments, we can tell you're a Disney fan as I well. I'm a Disney fan. Reasons why? Well, except before speaking of that. No, it's not. <laughs> Even though. Even though that the original creator of Disney, Walt Disney, is actually gone, they are still bound. Maybe rest in peace. They are no. St- no. They He's are a st- racist. <laughs> the old podcast. Easy. Yeah, it existed. It existed. I wish it didn't. We're not going to post it ever. <laughs> <laughs> but what? So what would you think that? We'll start with Meg. What do you think that we could have done better? We're going to get around. We're going to get around. We're going to get So what? What do you think could have gone better in the first podcast? I mean, if we didn't swear and actually had a script, but we didn't, so... Yeah, but a podcast isn't funny about swearing anymore. I mean... We went up... Don't go there. You are the one... Okay. You are the one who swore probably the most after taking an awful lot of the time to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think like like a half an hour of that podcast was just Meg. <laughs> half an hour of the 26 minute podcast <laughs> just was Just Meg. Meg. <laughs> just Meg. Disney's <laughs> racist. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway... Uh, what what went well of it? It didn't go, and I, I don't think it was not uh, great. You know, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Nothing. nothing at all. I think we should just bin nothing it and restart. At all. Bin it and restart. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Oh, <laughs> Please shut up for one. Right, <laughs> any, right. So <laughs> is right. So is that your full opinion on it? Like uh-huh. Nothing went well, and it was all completely downfall, and miserable. I mean, yeah, I did all the talking. All right, so. fair enough. I'll agree with you on the whole talking part. <laughs> <laughs> the whole talking part is the point of the podcast. All right, it is. Right, right. Daniel, <laughs> since uh, you are the other co host of I would say the being more respectful when other people are talking. You literally called Meg dumb midway through the podcast. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that, is my, that is my argument. These cameras are rolling, right? <laughs> These cameras I think they are rolling. Are. I just stuck my fingers in that <laughs> 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 That's that's all I have to say. It's comedy. Right. What went well then? We managed to ramble a lot. We did. Which was 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 that good for the podcast? Had to be five minutes. Yeah. We I, got content. Let's we say got, we, we, we say got we got content. In theory as well, but us like rambling and we discovered that we actually enjoy recording a podcast. Yeah, it was great. Which it was us, fun. Which lets us now create idiots of mics, which hopefully will be a weekly thing. Yeah. 
It'd be great. I love it. I love Self, talking. Selfless self promotions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Brett. Oh dear. What? What do you think went well with the podcast? I didn't talk. What do you think can be improved in the podcast? I talk. <laughs> oh my god, you're so <laughs> contradicting of yourself. Thank you very much. That's some brilliant work there. Now we'll go and have a look at some slideshows created by our students over in Taunton. Let's take a look.
take a closer look into their work and their slideshow. Here's Brandon, Charlie and Charlotte. How did you come up with your idea? Um, I came up with my idea by doing the research on a photographer called Dwayne Michaels, who specialises in telling stories through his um, photo shoots. Uh, what did the editing do? For the editing, I used a black and white filter, and because my photograph had signs in it, I kept the colour of the signs. Uh, what would you do differently next time? Um, I would play around with the angles more and change up the short sizes, zoom in a bit more and zoom out and change the colour. Um, I would probably do more planning and make sure each photo has a similar frame. What was the inspiration for your idea? Um, I recently watched Western films, so I took inspiration from that into my own. Did you do any planning? Um, when, when it came to planning, I, ex I explored my idea through a variety of different uh, mind maps and diagrams to try and figure out which one would be the best. Uh, what equipment did you use? Did you try techniques? I used a Canon 750D camera from the college. Um, I didn't really focus on my techniques though, no, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, what would you do differently next time? Um, I'd probably try different techniques, different shot sizes, stuff like that. I would experiment with different angles and different shot sizes. I'd probably invest more time into the actual project itself, uh, including more frames in between um, to see more of the emotion of the characters. Now we'll move on to some quiz shows where over at Bridgewater, some of the students produce some amazing stuff. Here's a little teaser of some of them. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, and welcome to Six of All, where naming the top six can win you a top prize. I'm your host, Jamie Coleman, and the team to my right today is some random teacher from Bridgewater, Mr. Hardcastle. And with him is the not actually sidekick, but sidekick, Simeon Goodman. On the other team today, we have Carl Lane and the redhead Nathaniel Roshenko. I'm your host, Matthew Lote, and I'm joined by my two teams. Today on, on Team 1 I have Jelly and Team Captain Jamie. Hello. On Team 2 I have Simeon and, and Team Captain Nathaniel. Today's contestants is Simeon and Nathan and today's episode is on popular movies and TV shows. Nathaniel, you're up first. I'm incredibly afraid of clowns. Take it away Jamie. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so uh, my sentiment is I, uh, I blew a few gearboxes in my car. Now, what are the top six most watched Disney movies of all time? Please decide amongst your team who will answer this question. Do you want to answer first? I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go, go, go for Frozen. Is yeah. that the final answer? Yeah. Okay, let's reveal if Frozen is the correct answer. Frozen is the correct answer, and that is 100 added to your prize fund. Nah, the doors came off. It's like, it's like a shirt. It's tipped as well. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, that noise singles the. Uh, Signals the time is up, and it's the end of the show. Um, so I can reveal. Romance is not on the board. You have lost all the money you have came here for. Unfortunately, you have lost all three lives, which means you are going home with nothing. Thank you for competing on Sixable. Join us next time for another episode of Master and Bluff and Puff. Puff. See you then. Now, first up, to talk about their quiz show, we have Matt, India, Meg, Hunter, Brett, and Nat. Hello, I'm Matthew Lote. The thing I'm most proud of so far is hosting Masters of Bluff and Puff. Me and my team were instructed to follow a family comedy plan format of our own, own tape suitable. I was secretly keen to be the host, so that I 
so a script was written for me to do the beginning and the end. On the day of filming, our plan man was off, which left the rest of us a bit unsure on how to set up the show, which led to delay in production. By the time we were sorted, we only had just about enough time for our final shoot, which we managed to do, it was just a bit rust. I felt like I was talking fast at the time, and I got the wrong name once or twice. I also didn't have time to check the camera angle, so I didn't know which way I was making the face. I mean, set criticism on the lights as no one else could, and used the stage lights, but didn't check to see how that made the shoot. Feedback says the lighting worked on me and Team 2, but not so much on Team 1. Despite that, I am pleased with the show. It was good fun hosting it, and people thought I made a good host. Definitely the best thing I've done so far, and I would be very happy to do it again. Now we'll move on to how the quiz show of Would I Not Lie To You was made at Bridgewater. And here to show you is Jamie, Will, Toby, Isaac, Blake, and they're all interviewed by Simeon. Thank you very much, Ben. Let's go on to the first question. So, what was your idea and how did you come up with it? Um, our idea was to do a parody version mm. of um, Would I Lie To You. We titled it Not Would I Lie To You. Um, we, we all agreed, I think, that, that it was a good quiz show to, um, mm -hmm. to try and parody, to try and make our own. Um, that was our main idea and we, we got that through doing a bit of research about other shows and mm -hmm. then we obviously settled on that one in the end, yeah. Yeah. Did anyone else, anyone else have any other ideas? Or was that the main one that everyone wanted to focus on? That yeah, was just, that was the main. Yeah, we just pretty much just got it and then agreed on it. And yeah. We were like, agreed on that. We looked at pointless and all, and it was like, eh, it looks a bit. Yeah, yeah. Bit it's probably quite hard to do as well. It fitted yeah, the yeah. style of like everybody in it as well. Mm -hmm. like, the comedy. Really, so and everybody's really got a story as well. So like, it fits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what? Mm. So what was what research did what research did you take and what how did you develop it? Um, first off, we obviously looked for all the different um, TV shows like Catchphrase, Pointless, um, The Chase, and then obviously Would I Lie to You, just to decide on um, what one we actually wanted. Yeah. And then it was just looking at how they staged it with like mm -hmm. what cameras, how many cameras, like the camera angles and everything. Yeah. Did you make a floor plan for that? Yeah, we made a floor plan. I think Will. Yeah, uh, we put together a floor plan. It, you know, gave a bit of like structure to the shoot yeah. on the day, so we knew knew what was where um, when it came to actually shooting. Mm -hmm. So I think the original idea was to get teachers and students, wasn't it? Mm. Did anything yeah. go wrong with that? Well, we had to yeah. reshoot um, because <laughs> we didn't <laughs> record the audio that on the first take. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> we. Yeah, because we didn't open up the program, the audio program, to record it in. Mm. Um, so we had to do a reshoot, and some teachers couldn't do it yeah. um, because of the reshoot and timings and stuff like that. So we had to get in different actors. Mm. And we also had to rewrite the script. Oh, a yeah. Bit, yeah. Had, <laughs> it was a lot, a lot of effort. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it was a lot of work. But. Yeah, I can imagine. So, how did the. What, what were the positives of the shoot? Um, well, it. Overall went quite smoothly. Like the switches between the cameras were quite good. Uh, the lighting lit up the set well, and where we had a comedic effect to it, even though it was sort of scripted. So the whole thing just flowed quite well. Very nice. Yeah, the yeah, edit quite... afterwards was really good as well. Mm. Like yeah. with the laughter tracks and yeah, so the like all intro. All and, uh, yeah. Uh, so like <laughs> so and so laughs and it's like oh, goes with the laughter tracks. It's a bit like oh. And the rolling credits and that as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the intro and the credits made it seem more like an actual TV show yeah, yeah, rather than just us talking. Mm. So what what do you think about the final product? Yeah. No, I think it's just yeah. like, yeah, it could have been better 100%, but it's like for, for like a for first, first time of doing yeah. a TV show, I mean, it worked pretty well. The cameras were set out right. They yeah. switched to the right one when you needed, and like, audio on the second time was all right. <laughs> yeah. Obviously yeah. not the first time. Um, 
And yeah, like I mean, it was it was quite interesting. But I mean, you know, but like it's TV show, so yeah. if you watch TV shows, it's interesting. Yeah, definitely. But you know, <laughs> yeah, there was obviously a few mistakes here and there, but yeah. it's still like ran smoothly. So what do you think you could have done differently, maybe? Maybe work to do it again. Um, well, we were in sort of like a rush the second time round, so yeah, there's a few yeah. things left out, like to like tallying up the scores and everything. It's just little little things yeah. uh, could have definitely been done. <laughs> yeah. Having yeah. an extra camera as a close up for the other two contestants because we had to use yeah. one of them for the main host. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. we missed out on that sort of yeah. camera. Stuff like that. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, that's all the questions for today. Let's get back to Ben. Some great insight there and a great quiz show. Now we'll go over to the other quiz show named Sixables. Here's B, Max, Molly, Maya and Ellie. Thank you, Ben. And today we're going to brief you on the process and our evaluation on our quiz show, Sixable. We were asked to create and produce a five minute quiz show using multi-camera editing and here's how we did it. As a collective, we decided we wanted to do something similar to the show Tenable and Family Fortunes. So our first task was researching and watching clips of each show. Here is our introduction to our show. Hello and welcome to Sixable, where naming the top six can win you a top prize. Today's contestants is Simeon and Nathan, and today's episode is on popular movies and TV shows. After we had a rough idea of what we wanted to do and started coming up with a script and questions for the show, we kept the show related to media by asking questions about top movies and characters. Now what are the top six most watched Disney movies of all time? Please decide amongst your team who will answer this question. We then assigned roles and had to think about what our setup would look like and what equipment we needed. For our first multi-camera shoot, it went very well and as a group we are very proud of our show. Our favourite part was the last round as it was very intense and I believe the most successful out of the rounds. I think this is because the contestants and the host felt more comfortable and confident as the show progressed. Is action on the board? Action is also on the board. <laughs> Adding another 100 to your prize fund. I literally forgot everything. Well, there's like, like Thriller, yeah, thriller. Uh, Suspense. Romance. Rom romance? Romance is probably up there. Romance, yeah. Go for romance? We're going for romance. Go for romance. Is romance on the board? No. Romance is not <laughs> on the board. You have lost all the money you have came here for. However, there are a few things we'd change if we were to do it again. We'd use a better camera instead of the camcorder for the wide shot so it looked cleaner. We would also change the tables and chairs to something more sophisticated to make the show look more professional. We'd also move the contestants' mics closer to them as they were too far away from them, making them significantly more quieter than the host. Our final critique would be time management, as we didn't have enough time post-production to edit and add sound effects, which would have enhanced and finalised our product, making it more professional. Despite all of that, the quiz show went very well and was extremely smooth for our first ever multi-camera shoot. I also believe if we did this again with more time, it would be even better. Right then, we'll now move on to Swedes, which was produced over at uh, Taunton by our lovely students over there. So we'll have a look at what they've made. Hello? I need a secret.
believe. Oh, it's her. Spencer. Spencer? Brilliant stuff there. Now we're going to take a look at some human animation pieces produced by our students over at Bridgewater. Here's a little look. What are you? Are you a bird? Ding! Oh, wait! You're Furby! Dida! Finally, to provide a deeper insight and more detail, we'll have a look at the Mario Kart animation piece. Uh, so here is Simeon, Alan, and myself, interviewed by Hunter. Thank you, Ben. And here today, I'm with Simeon, Alan, and Ben. Glad you can make it on time. Yeah, yeah just about. So, tell me, with your uh, stop from animation, where did the idea of Mario Kart stem from for your original design? Oh, that was Ben, actually. Yeah, that was um, me. Um, so, I, I think we were just sort of um, collecting our ideas of what we were going to do for our animation. And Ben and I decided to um, come up with the idea of Mario Kart and sitting on chairs and going all like the brum brum, uh, just like we are now, of course. Um, yeah. Instead of using office chairs, so it's a lot easier. Oh yeah, it was much, much easier. We decided to use office chairs. We had three ideas, either sitting on our ass, just going like that, um, sitting on these chairs, and then we decided to go office chairs because it's much easier to work with. Yeah, it's a lot easier to move something when it's on wheels than just scraping them along the floor. So, from what we overheard, you had a lot of problems with like certain like time framing, with, like certain things. Yeah, timing was a, a big issue. We, I, I feel like we needed a little bit more time and it would have been better, but the final product was pretty good. Well, yeah, um, but I, what we had three days? Three days. Three-ish days um, to do a one day of planning. Then we had a whole day of shooting because uh, stop motion takes a long time. And then the rest was just editing. And, and then it was ready, mainly editing uh, that we spent the next day. Um, even though the editing wasn't us, it was mainly Simeon. Yeah, we had Simeon doing the editing. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. So then any like, major problems that occurred during the recording process? Uh, I think Simeon's best for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, obviously we started recording in the TV or the edit suite. And from there, we moved along the whole route. But along the whole route, sometimes there were like scenes where we went too fast or like too slow. And we had to speed up and post. Um, we didn't take enough pictures during the whole thing. So with that, that was one big problem we had. We, like, we had to speed up and slow down at certain points. But other than that, I can't really think of many other things that went wrong. Unless someone else can remember something that went wrong. I don't think, I don't think so. Um, not really, I don't think. Apart from 
me taking loads of takes of me hey, you quote unquote a, crashing. You took a massive loss with that one. We had it we had about fifteen, 15, 15 clips takes. and takes of Ben doing his crash mat scene where he just like throws himself at the floor with crash mats. So he quite, yeah. so he quite literally cripples himself in the process. Pretty, pretty we took we took break a leg very seriously. Um, I was very prepared to break something. <laughs> Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah. So we kept we kept looking through the uh, the footage of Ben doing it, and then he would just look at it and be like, "Nah, I can do better. Nah, I can do better." And so we ended up with like a whole afternoon's worth of just watching Ben just hurt himself, jackass style. Yeah, way way to do it. Yeah. So one point at the end of the clip, Simeon has a fire extinguisher. Where did the idea of using that as a prop come uh, from? That was my original idea. Because, well, not original. Uh, it was originally my idea because um, we wanted, I wanted a very fast-paced part of it, where one of them, like you know, does the night the nitrous boost, and so yeah, the nitrous, and so. We came up with the idea of Simeon grabbing the fire extinguisher and using it as like a, a jet booster, if you would, just to, uh, to, to fly down the corridor past Ben while Ben is just sat there in amazement. So it's kind of had like a comedic effect as well. Yeah, it was a lot of it was comedic effect as well. Mm. And also in the original idea for that was to add like in post production that we'd add like a little effect going over it. Yeah, I was going to add get like a boost go across. Stuff. But we didn't end up doing that just because it looked better with the original one. Yeah, I got halfway through and then we decided to can the idea. So that was a few hours gone. With the editing side of it, how long did that take in general on average? Uh, well, I couldn't finish it here. I think I started it with a few sound effects and a bit of like to, a bit of um, sorting out the pictures and frames into like a sequence. But I had to do most of it at home. So it took quite a while. It took like a few hours to do it at home. I got home like, and straight away started it. And yeah, it took like, Four hours, maybe all together for sound effects as well. Cause I had to download them and find them as well. So it took quite a while. I think that is all the questions we have. Ben, do you want to do the outro? I will see you back at the stage. Whew. With that, our exhibit clo draws to a close. Thank you all for watching and coming out here tonight to look at all these wonderful pieces of media. Uh, thank you all and good night.